$800 for a corn version of the 570. It's Christmas! And you know what that means. Santa's gonna bring us some coal because, well, he doesn't have anything else left because his toy production's pretty much been shut down since the beginning of the year. This is, this is an interesting Christmas. So today, it's kind of like the opposite of a buyer's guide because there's nothing to buy. Unless you want to pay $710 for an RX 5700 XT. Uh, so we're gonna go on to Amazon and Newegg and we're gonna have a look at just how bad the stock shortage really is um, Because every time that I've tried to price check anything for videos It's it's just impossible to do that because there's just nothing available Now the first place where I want to venture into the pit of despair is in RAM pricing because over the last six months or so we've actually been very lucky with RAM being pretty cheap. My e -peen is bigger than- <laughs> I love how this comment just knows, like Jesus Sanchez just really knows why this RAM exists. Yo, and it's like really expensive compared to- compared to other RAM in that class. Like you, for 70 bucks, you can get a RAM kit that performs identically to this. Probably the same modules as well. Okay, but it seems when it comes to RAM, there is intermittent stock of stuff, but if you're looking for like higher end RAM, so like 3600 megahertz up, um, you've got some G-Skill RAM going here, but this is a 64 gig kit, holy crap. Let's go look at something more interesting. Let's try like cases. But yeah, I mean, it's okay. Like you can get a 4000D. Although I really hope you can get the Airflow one, because that's like the available from these sellers. Oh no, the version of the case you should get is out of stock. <laughs> that's so annoying. So it's, it's interesting, right? Because with the current stock levels, you can see what products people don't want, basically. <laughs> so the Airflow version of the 4000D, which I, I absolutely love this case, um, you can't buy. There's no stock of it. But if you go over to the RGB one, also not in stock. Okay, so that's clearly something people want. And then you get to the just the the plain plain tempered glass version, and there's stock available of that because because nobody wants those. Well, it seems like when it comes to PC cases, you have the pick of the litter. With that, let's go and look at the place where the drought is really hitting hard, which is graphics cards here. Um, oh, there's actually stock on a RTX 3060 Ti for nine hundred dollars. Um, MSI computer. Wait a minute. Wait, does that does that mean that MSI ships from Ultra? F oh, okay, no, 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 no. So I think the brand is MSI Computers, but the actual person that's selling and shipping it is you shop more. Yeah, again, there's 3080s in stock. There is actual stock available of these cards, but it's all from you shop more fast shipping, and um, yeah, that's that's not good. That. Doesn't seem very Christmassy of them. Although, at least we have this bad boy. Radian 7750 for $130. That seems like a bargain. This is actually from Vision Tech. Um, yeah, so that's again a good indication of a graphics card that you shouldn't buy and that's why it's in stock. Although, there's 129 comments and they're all amazing two stars. I feel... <laughs> Let's look specifically for cards. So from the previous gen, what about like an AMD RX 5700 XT, a graphics card that is objectively a good buy. Uh, okay, we have here from Power Color, we've got one for $390. Although it's in stock February 3rd, 2021. <laughs> okay, never mind, never mind. I was actually quite excited about that listing, but apparently that's not something you can buy. The Sapphire version, again, which is good, out of stock, out of stock. You can get the Liquid Devil uh, Power Color version. But, you know, that only applies to very few people. And again, it's not actually in stock. It's only going to be in stock on December 24th. That's a shame. So with the RX 5700 XTs, they're also all out of stock. But, yeah, let's let's have a look at the uh, 5500s. Because that's a, that's a card in a price class that a lot of people buy. And in stock February 1st. There's one Azrock card left, but it's selling for $290, which I feel like is a lot for a 50, 5500 XT, so that's probably why it's not selling. There's a Vision Tech one for... Okay, and it's in stock on De December 25th, so that may be okay. 
That cooler looks a little bit runty, but it is a 5500 XT, so that should be okay. So unfortunately, it seems with graphics cards, that's one of the big points where, where this, this drought is hitting home. Let's have a look at, like, previous generation AMD Ryzen CPUs, because those are uh, usually a very good buy. And I'm curious to see if we have stock for that. Okay, so a 3600, there's no stock. The price is still good, but we're looking at a delivery date of January 23rd, 3700X, uh, December 31st. Although they have the 3800 XT in stock, uh, so that'll arrive before Christmas. What about like the Darling Child, which is like a 2700X? Oh, these are also out of stock. I wonder I wonder if these are going to come back in stock at some point. They are available from various sellers, though. Let's see here. Pricing, 290 uh, It's not bad. But Newegg, you've been able to buy them for about $210 earlier this year, where now we're sitting at, at almost $300. So you can see just with that price graph, like, stock is a real issue of these. Which is a shame, because this is an amazing CPU that... At like $210, that was like the steal of the decade. That was such a good price. Uh, so here's a 580 gaming and uh, sold and shipped by Newegg, $220 in stock. Okay, so ships from the US. You can actually get an RX 580 for the festive season if you'd like on Newegg. Let's see if they have any other stock. And that's that's a decent price as well. Um, that isn't a good price. $500. <laughs> out of stock, out of stock. Okay, so there's one version of the 5500 XT and one version of the 580. Let's have a look at something a little bit higher end. Okay, so there's this one. There's, there's a big Red Devil uh, version of the 5700 XT. $470 is a lot for one of these cards, although it does have a huge cooler on it. $800 for a corn version of the <laughs> 70. If you haven't watched the video of the corn graphics card that I looked at, that actually killed one of my motherboards that I plugged it in. So I don't really trust them as a brand anymore. How about, how about, you know, again, we've, we've figured out earlier in the video that the best way to gauge what people want and what people don't want is by what's in stock. So let's have a look at Intel's lineup. I'm, I'm sure that $380 is a lot for a 10700K, although they do have them in stock. So again, this is clear that people don't want this. Oh, here's a KA. So this is a version, um... Okay, so I guess the KA is just the Avengers version of it. That's really funny, um, which is actually cheaper. So 360 bucks, you know, it's okay. What, what do what do Z490 motherboards look like, uh, price-wise? Z490. Um, that's in stock, $400. Here's one with a CPU. Okay, so you can get something like this, which actually, I mean, it looks like it's got a decent power delivery on it. It looks like it's got everything you need, $170. Uh, four stars. I don't know. I haven't actually seen any dedicated reviews on this board, but that's not too bad. So, so you can you can actually get one of these with an Intel CPU. You're still gonna be screwed graphics card wise. Though. It's it's all out of stock. 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 Oh, they've got the waifu card. Look at that. You can get it on Newegg now. That's exciting. And it's in stock. It ships from China though, so it's gonna take again until next November, but you can buy one for $600. Well, to be fair, that's kind of what I paid for mine. Uh, let's have a look at N NVIDIA's side. So let's see, like, let's try and be really lucky here. Uh, RTX, let's do a 3070. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, sold out and you can't, okay, you can pre-order them and then there's a couple for like $1,800, which is just madness. Sip ships from China as well, so it's going to take you till next November to get that card. Uh, although, there are some pre-builds in stock available with uh, 3070 in it. It does have a 9700F in it, which is, you know, that's not a CPU that I'd necessarily buy new now. And it looks like, yeah, you've got a bad motherboard, the cable management's going to be pretty terrible. But, you know, that's, that's probably the only way that you're going to be able to get one of these graphics cards at the moment. A thousand nine hundred dollars for a ten seven hundred K and a thirty seven hundred. Um, oof. I mean, okay. It does have a really nice looking motherboard in it. It's got a decent AIO in it with the incorrect AIO orientation, but you've got nice like this is a good gaming system. 
$1,900 is a little bit steep, but you're, you're not going to be able to get anywhere near that when it comes to specking out your own parts because, well, you can't buy most of the components that are in that system. Let's see if there's something with like a Ryzen CPU in it. Oof, that looks a bit rough. Uh, yeah, 3070 and a 3700X, which is a really good combination, but uh, the rest of the system looks a little bit rough here. Um, honestly, it seems like at the moment, pre-builds are probably one of your better bets. Let's look at gaming laptops. This is interesting. Ooh, again, this is a, this is a good option. So you've got a... Wait, what is what version of the Aorus is this? It's a bit of a thick boy, but it means cooling should be okay. Look at that vent. Oh, yeah. And then you've got an RTX 2060 with an i7 10750H, 16 gigs of RAM. You've got a 500 gig SSD, a high refresh rate display, and it's a it's $1,100. This is a great option. Like, legitimately, if you're looking... What is this? Oh, this has also got a... Oh, this has just got a nicer chassis i guess so it's got an ips display there are so many options in this price point and they're all in stock seemingly look at this six uh, 1660 ti 4800 hs high refresh rate is it an ips display yes you've got 16 gigs of RAM for a thousand bucks look at this laptop it looks great yo this is the life hack this is, if you need a gaming device at the moment, honestly, it seems like going the laptop route is, is better because this is all in stock. You're going to get good performance. Yo, this is actually a really good deal for, for a Razer Blade. I may actually buy one of these to do that comparison video with the older Razer that I have. So we're looking at a 10750H. 2060, 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig SSD, and then like the the, the, the Razer build quality, and it's 1,350 bucks. Like you can get those similar specs for less money, but like I pointed out in that previous video, these laptops age really well. Um, yo, this is good. Does it ship to Canada? Okay, so we've actually got some consumer advice in this video. If you have like your PC breaking or whatever, and you actually do need some gaming hardware for, for the festive season, buy a laptop. There we go. Consumer advice from Christmas tech, whatever with David. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I'm going to go off and, and, and bankrupt myself on a Razer laptop for a comparison video. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your Christmas and until the next one. Bye-bye.